Hey guys, it's Andrew, TTT's assistant, back with another vid. So, today is Sunday, and usually TTT does the Sunday monologues, but he is away on vacation, so I have to do it. For those of you who are new to this channel, and you're thinking, what, is, what the heck is a Sunday monologue? A Sunday monologue is when TTT reads a monologue he's never read before, found by me online, or I write it. This time, I had to find one online, so I could follow the same rule that I've never read it before. I chose a back-to-school monologue, and it's not really about back-to-school, but because I started reading it, so I cheated a little bit. I was filming another video, and then I had an interruption, but, um, so I had to refilm it. Even The video is technically supposed to be in one take. I cheated a little bit there, but... Oh well, because sometimes life happens and you have to cheat a little bit. Alright, anyways, here we go. The monologue is called 12 Years Wise by Gabrielle Davis. It is written for females, but it was the only free monologue that I could find that didn't require a lot of digging. And it was published in Best Contemporary Monologues for Kids Ages 7 to 15, in the Applause Acting Series, performed in Broadway Artist Alliance Summer Session 2015. I'm 12. Yes, I'm only 12. I don't know everything you do, but I need you to listen to me, because I think I know something here. I know when you yell at mom, it's usually because you think you're right and she's wrong, but if mom's crying because you're telling me about how wrong she is, then I think you're even more wrong. I'm only 12. As you like to remind me, you know more stuff, but I know there must be a better way to make your point than to stick mom with it until she cries. Maybe you could soften your point, like I did with Jackie. I didn't tell you or mom this, but Jackie took my favorite dress without asking, the one I was going to wear my first day back at school. Well, and, well, Jackie went to the with sleepover with it on and got grape soda all over it. It's ruined. I wanted to yell at her, to tell her right in front of you and mom how insensitive she was and how she's a bad sitter because, sister, because she didn't think of me at all and how she is totally selfish. But the last time I did that, she didn't talk to me for a week and I decided to make it up to her. I downloaded that funny movie about the school dance she was dying to see and we watched it and laughed and when we were both really happy together, er, then I told her quietly, privately in her room, about how excited I'd been to wear that, the dress my first day at, back at school, and what I loved about it. She said I was just telling her to make her feel bad. I said, I said I was just telling her because I wanted her to know how I felt, because I wasn't sure if she knew. She said she kind of knew but not how much it mattered to me. So when she finally apologized, I knew it was real, not because you or mom made her, but because she loves me. So I'm saying, maybe instead of yelling at mom when she gets home, maybe you should take her on a really nice date instead. I'm just saying, do you want mom to be nicer to you, or do you just want to be right? It's up to you, Dad. That's it for today. Now go watch a play. Peace out, like, and subscribe.